What is up, everybody, and happy Tuesday. And today, I am here with David Jam Bruno with Keller Williams, Bay Area State, a top rock star realtor in the Silicon Valley. And we're going to tell you why Zillow and its Zestimate is broken, straight up broken. So pay attention because this can cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars. Right, David? No, I, absolutely. And I love the energy, man. And I love just, uh, you know, I love when the consumer thinks one thing and then we have the opportunity to share the truth with them and show them what the real deal is. So I'm going to jump right in. Yeah, this is, you know, I love the title, Why Zillow is Broken and really why it can harm consumers both when they're selling a home or when they're looking to buy a home. Yep. Real, real simple. I brought an example today. I just sold a house over in Santa Teresa area of South San Jose, an area that both you and I know really, really well, and happens to be a really popular area in our marketplace right now. So when the seller approached me, you know, he said, hey, David, I looked up on Zillow and Zillow said my house is worth one point three eight five million. Right. So one million three hundred eighty five thousand dollars. He right. says, if you could if you could bring me an offer today at that amount, I would take it, sign it, be happy and be on my way. I told him, slow down a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, let, let's look at the data. Right. Because yeah. in most cases, Zillow, their estimate is really just a guesstimate. You know, so it really takes a professional to analyze the data in the local marketplace. And so what I did. I went back to the lab, I looked at the data, I crunched the numbers and I said, hey, I think I can do a lot better than 1.385 million. And at first he didn't believe me, right? Because, you know, Zillow and even Redfin to their credit, they have programmed the consumer to believe that mm. their information is like the Bible, right? That, that it is not wrong. You know, we, we know that most consumers, when they're thinking about selling or buying a home, over 90% of them start their search on Zillow or Redfin. Right. So, and they believe all that information to be true. So went back to the lab, crunched the numbers. I said, Hey, if you let me do my thing along with my team, you know, not only am I going to get you more than one offer, but I think I'm going to be able to drive the price up, you know, make you really happy. So long story short. And again, you'll, you'll see from the, uh, the images that we're sharing, you know, we decided a list price of 1.299 million, right? So just under 1.3. Okay. And I'll, I'll talk about that strategy a little later on. But, uh, you know, Zillow said it's worth 1385. We put the home on the market, did what we do marketing wise. We drove in a ton of traffic. We ended up with nine offers and sold the house for 1.525 million. 1 1.5, wait, 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 hold on. Can you repeat that again? Cause I think yeah. I heard you wrong. Yeah, no, no, no. We listed basically at 1.3 million and we sold it in five days with nine offers, 225,000 over the asking price. So imagine that being a seller amazing. thinking that your house is worth 1.385 and you end up with an offer that is, you know, 150,000 over that amount. And he was just blown away, right? And, and again, you know, it's because people just rely on what they see online and, and take it as the truth. And so that's why it's important. You know, we always say who you work with matters. Um, and it's really, really important, you know, but not just for the seller, but for the buyers too, because imagine being a buyer that looks online and says, Hey, that house is worth 1.385. I'm going to write my offer for 1.385. Yeah. Guess what? They, they never get the house because they're not educated about the market. Right. So that's a big difference. I mean, 200 over 200,000. That is a big difference. And I guess I, I did a little research on Zestimate and it primarily uses uh, like algorithms, right? And sure. they factor recent sales and tax assessments yeah. and, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But it, they don't really account for like uh, the unique aspects of the home, right? Like uh, no. the high quality of renovations, because I've seen some houses, they go overboard. The charm of its design, the all the yeah. intricate details, right? So how do you... How do you approach that? I mean, how do you account for that? How do you know? Yeah, well, it's funny. If you go through Zillow's website buried in like one of their back pages, it talks about why their estimates aren't accurate, right? You know, they'll, they'll, they'll never put that on the front page, <laughs> on the first page of the website. But to your point, you know, there's no way for Zillow to do an apples to apples comparison, mm -hmm. you know, of, of the home that you're going to buy or sell versus what else is in the market. They just look at raw data and that data could be wrong. 
the data doesn't always take into consideration, like you said, lot size, views, the amenities, the condition of the home, how recently it was remodeled, if it was done with permits, not permits, you know, all of those things that factor in. And so again, you know, for the consumers out there, it's fun to look at, but by no means, you know, would I take that as something that actually represents the value of my home or a home that I want to buy. Yeah, yep, yep. That's incredible. And you know, it really drives home the the point about uh, the importance of working with experienced professionals, right? Somebody that can offer that personal touch. You said something in the beginning, right? Who? Who you who work, you work with? with matters. Yeah. That's right. And, and here's the deal. In Santa Clara County, um, there's about 13,000 licensed agents, mm -hmm. right? Right now, because the market shifted, there's only about four or 500 deals a month. Mm. So if you just do the math on that, right, there's a lot of hungry agents out there. And so people always ask me, like, are you concerned about your competition? And the reality is I'm not concerned about the competition. I'm concerned about the consumer because yeah. with 13,000 agents, there's a lot of agents out there that I'm sure they're nice people, but they're not experts in their field. And so I'm concerned that the consumer, because there's so few transactions happening right now, I'm concerned that the consumer is not getting good representation. So by you and I doing videos like this, educating mm -hmm. the public, you know, I encourage consumers don't just go with the first agent they meet, even if it's me, right? I want you to interview two or three other agents to make sure that you understand the differences and who you're getting uh, and who you're going to do business with, right? Heck yeah, I agree. And all of yeah, again, just just circling back to the uh, all these online platforms. I mean, they they don't replace the expertise. You can't, you can't. Like everybody talks about AI is going to replace everything, but no, you need the personal touch because how do you determine the worksmanship of an upgrade, right? right? And that could be a big deal. I mean, that could be a huge swing. Yeah, they always talk about technology or AI getting rid of the real estate agent, you know, and well, I welcome technology, you know, I don't look at it as something that's going to replace what I do, because at the end of the day, you one, it's it uh, selling real estate is very personal, right? For a lot mm -hmm. of people, it's very emotional and no AI can can replace that. The other thing is we use technology to enhance what we do. Right. And, yeah. and so we, you know, we always use the latest tools and technology and I embrace it all. Right. And we study and we research and we figure out what's going to help our clients. But at the end of the day, you know, I promise you, you know, uh, you take Tim Cook or Bill Gates, they're not going to have a computer sell their house for them. Right. You, you know, so the yeah. same should apply. I don't care if you have a five hundred thousand dollar condo or a five million dollar house. You know, you need somebody that has the experience, understands the market and can navigate the nuances of a transaction. You know, technology just isn't there yet. David, I could not have said it better myself. And uh, yeah, when it comes to like these huge financial decisions, who you work with truly matters, right? Absolutely, man. And hey, and, and I appreciate you, you know, jumping on here with me. You know, we've, we've had the privilege of working and knowing each other for, uh, you know, over a decade, right? And so, you know, I love to see all the stuff that you're doing for your clients and your community. And, you know, I'm just happy to be here to share a little bit of what I know. Awesome. David, thank you so much for sharing your story today. Big uh, thanks to everybody watching. If you have any questions about buying, selling, financing a home, don't Absolutely. hesitate to reach out. We're here to help. David's uh, contact information is in the description. So again, we're here to help. Sounds good, brother. Thanks everybody.